What is going on guys? Casual Yugi stuff back today bringing you guys, my fans, my followers, my subscribers, another Yu-Gi-Oh! video. This uh, video we will be reviewing my cards, my most pride possession cards, which I will be sending off to PSA in the um, in the near future. As you can see, this um, black and sort of you know pinky violet colored flowery box in front of me. When this box gets full of cards, which are ready to be sent to PSA, then we know it's time to um, to do a uh, to do a shipment to PSA to get them graded. So, without further ado, guys, I'll crack this box open and show you what we will be grading. As you can see, it's pretty much full. And here we have my little mascot, which I got from Venice, my little piggy, <laughs> making a, a little video. Oh, cool, you can see the card through here, like a reverse angle. Anyway, we'll put him to the side. And in here we have our cards. Uh, I don't know how many there are exactly, but um, there are a few. So we'll run through these uh, slowly and give our prediction uh, grades for each one, um, given that their conditions were, were not all 10s. Let's be honest, all these cards in here are not going to fetch 10s because I know personally that there are some imperfections. We're looking at, obviously, we don't send in a card if we don't think you can get really a 7 or higher. Uh, that's just stupid, because, it's, you know, you're losing money. The card's probably worth more out of a PSA slab than in. So, yeah, we'll just give our predicted grades and uh, see what happens. So, we'll start off with our two power tool dragons. I believe we have uh, more than two power tool dragons. Yeah, there's the third one. We have three power tool dragon first editions. Um, yeah, so this one here, I believe, has on the back a bit of whitening there and there. So this one, we're probably expecting an 8 from this Power Tool Dragon. From this one here, um, this one here's our best condition one. So hopefully a 9, 9 or 10 from this one would be great. This one is in good condition. So I love a 10. And this one does have a little dent in the corner there. I don't know if you can see it there. There it is, under the light. But that one, probably maybe, a, again, a 7 or an 8. I'd take an 8, 9, 10 for these. That'd be ideal. So, um, 8, 9, 10 for our Power Tool Dragons. Put them to the side. Here we have our Pride and Joy Stardust Dragon. Again, a bit of scuffness at the bottom here. A few scratches other than that. It's perfect on the back. Perfect card. Um, the scratches you do see, the majority are on the actual um, top loader. So, no worries with that. There's only about... Five scratches, small ones on the front, but you know that's pretty much inevitable with Ghost Rares, and I've seen them get eights and nine. So we take an eight, we'd love a nine, we would be fairly upset with a seven uh, PSA grade. So a second Rainbow Dragon, as we know on the channel, we own one PSA ten. Uh, this card is pretty flawless, if I'm being honest. It only has like maybe one or two scratches, and the back is perfect. Um, so yeah, we'll definitely look to fetch a nine on the Rainbow Dragon. We take a nine, we'd be extremely, extremely happy with another ten, and we would be reasonably upset with an eight. So now moving on to some other older cards, we have these cards all from Legacy of Darkness. We have an Asura Priest last turn, Rio Senshi, and drop off. These are all um, from the same set. From here, you can see the back cutting is awful. It's standard Legacy of Darkness, but what can you do? Not very much. Um, these should fetch maybe nines. They're, they're mint, guys. They're absolutely mint. Pack fresh. Um, what more can I say? Just the bad centering on the back, really. So we'd probably expect a uh, a, um, a 9 just because of the centering. So tens, uh, a 10 would be great. But what can you do? These cards um, were freebies, believe it or not, and they were perfect condition. So I thought, why not send them to PSA? Card Destruction and Soul Exchange from a Yugi Star deck, uh, first edition. Again, immaculate. Look at the nice dark colour standard for the uh, you know the first ever print cards. The starter decks, so yeah, hopefully these fetch tens. That'd be great if they did. Then we have a Elemental Hero Flame Wingman. Uh, this was purchased for myself. The seller had just recently pack packed it and uh, wanted to get rid of it for twenty pounds, so I picked it up. Stunning, perfect condition. Should fetch a ten. Again, maybe a nine at the or the lowest. Then we have Ancient Fairy Dragon, another uh, beautiful Synchro Dragon, uh, Sign of Dragon in um, Ghost Rare First Edition. Does have a little bit of the odd white dot and dots on the top, but other than that, is in great condition. I believe this card could fetch a nine, and potentially, if we're lucky, a ten. But we would be reasonably upset with a with a uh, with a eight. So here we go. This is a red dragon archfiend assault mode. 
very nice car, this one. In my eyes, the best uh, 3D, you know, Ghost Rare technology card, because his claws really do look like it's coming out to grab you. So, really nice. Um, yeah, very nice card. Mint, 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 mint. This came from the same seller who sold me these two. Black Winged Dragons. They're very good, these cars, actually. I'd say they're both consistent nines. They're solid on the back. One did have a little, um, um, like a, you know, there it is there, a little circle. Which I don't know what that is, really. Um, just It's just printed. It's not really like a dent or scratch. It's just the, the printing of the cars. Find a bit funny in the factory and printed them. So, yeah, these predicted grades, maybe, if we got a 10 and a 9, that'd be great. Two 10s, fantastic. Two 9s, very, very good. An 8 and a 9, still okay. Two eights would again be quite disappointing, and anything lower than an eight, we'd be we'd be pretty sad. Moving on to some older cool cards, we have a Levia Dragon Daedalus. Hopefully these uh, and Tyrant Dragon. Hopefully these can fetch nines or tens. Tens again would be ideal. Uh, that's what we're looking for always when we submit to PSA. These were pretty flawless. Purchased them from a nice seller. The two of them for twenty quid, if I recall correctly. Correctly. Um, so yeah. They're good. We'll be we take two tens, obviously a nine and a ten. Two nines would be okay, not the end of the world. But anything lower than a nine on those sort of cards, not much value. The Wing Dragon for our nice card, ultra rare GBI 003. Um, again, purchased this for 15 16 pounds. The centering on the back is a bit off top to bottom. Um, but yeah, again, we would love a nine or a um, yeah, maybe a ten, but I'm not sure about centering. So moving on, we have a Rio Senshi first edition. Again, from the uh, Legacy of Darkness, this card is a nice centred one. So this, I'm, I'm sure this could get a 10. This must be a 10 card because it's flawless, absolutely flawless. And again, we take a 9. Stardust Dragon, the one we packed from our um, the Duelist Genesis box opening. Fresh from the pack as we have witnesses, uh, 250 views as of today. <laughs> so yeah, we, we know this is mint. We've reviewed this card before. Uh, unlimited, but I'd still love to have this for the collection you know I pack, obviously if i packed it as well as this red dragon archfiend we love him we packed him same box as this i mean guys we need to we need to get what we uh, what we packed um psa graded just for the collection so yeah i believe these two could fetch tens obviously being being packed fresh but if they're harsh we know we would probably take a nine anything lower than a nine for a pack fresh card psa you really need to sort yourselves out because obviously yeah i mean they don't know that they're packed fresh but they should be able to tell so here we have two awesome cards, um, Enite Parshath and Archlord Serato. Fantastic cards. The colour coding of these fairies and the ultra rare is just fantastic. I really, really like them. Again, these cards should fetch turns. They're pretty nice, other than um, the centering of um, Enite being a bit standard LOD, you know, pretty off cut, top to bottom, left to right. But Serato is looking very, very fresh. So guys, yeah, let's didn't actually count how many cars there are here. So we'd go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-three, twenty-four. That's about right. That's gonna be a good submission. Twenty-four cars right here in front of us. Um yeah, so that's just my uh, little review of the cars I'll be submitting to PSA. If you did like the video, uh, please give it a like and uh, obviously a thumbs up would be amazing. Comment down below if you think uh, any of these cards were, um, would get less than what I predicted for them or which cards you're most excited to see get back. And um, yeah, um, if you're new to the channel, please uh, subscribe. And, um, and if you're a returning uh, subscriber and follower of the channel, I appreciate it, guys. So this is me and my little piglet here, which has come all the way from Venice. Uh, we're going to say thank you so much for watching. And we'll catch you in the next video. Casual Yugi stuff. Um, well, peace out, guys, and have a great day.